Hey, so Todd, what's your uh, opinion on carrying in front, carrying in back? Some people say that you should carry it in the back because this is alarming. Well, I guess to me, it makes no difference. Um, but if you're gonna, if you're going to uh, want to defend yourself or someone else, and you know, you need to be ready. If it's on your back. It, that's just one more step or two more steps you got to take to get to your weapon. Uh, the other thing is, what does the law say? The law doesn't specify. So as long as we're not carrying in an alarming fashion, I say carry it in the front because it's more accessible to you in, in case of an emergency or some kind of shootout or anything like that. That's just my opinion, man. What's your opinion? My opinion is I think if anybody's going to carry a gun, whether it be a gun in a holster like this, or a rifle or anything else. They need to have control of that weapon. You know, we put it in a holster and, and I always say you never want to carry one without a retention on it, at least one retention, like a strap. They sell holsters that have three levels, up to three levels of, of retention, meaning you have to uh, do three things to get it out. And that's to keep it out of the hands of the bad guys. As far as a rifle goes, if it's on my back, I don't have any control of it. The person standing behind me has control of it. So I like to keep it here because I have absolute control of it. Even if I'm not able to get it up and shoot you, I can hit you in the head with the butt of the weapon. Um, I can take it and jab you with it. And you're not gonna get it away from me. You're gonna have to contend with these bad babies here to get to this. And that's a no-go chief. If they approach me and start asking me, sir. Hold on. I'd like to deflect them to you. Why do you want a tag team? Let's just see how it goes, bro. All the guards are getting off. Yep. Yeah. All right, look like these guys are chicken shit to come out of the uh, prison here. be surprised if the sheriff comes with his lights on.
contact from the prison. Okay, be careful. All right, give me radio silence. Police must be getting near. Film I am. <laughs> hey, if the, if the but Cops act bad, man. I wish we had ways to have police uniforms, just fake ones. Because I could put one on with some boots and I could run out and get on my mom's horse and take off. But that would be them responding. <laughs> I like to make some things like that. Probably not, right? Hell yeah, the sheriff's gonna be here. I think so. I think they're coming out. Hold your hands in the air, bro. Got my hands in the air, guys. There goes the sheriff. Frio County. Frio County Sheriff's coming too. All right, guys, we got, we got, um. Uh, huh? I'm not armed, bud. Okay. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah, 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 I noticed that. Uh, He's filming and I'm, uh, giving him protection for a while. Told. Three armed subjects out here on the by the prison. <laughs> yeah. We got a call from the prison, I guess. I don't know what their policy is about people out here on the side of the highway with weapons. They don't own. They don't own this right here, man. This is the this is the county right here. I just asked him. I'm like, what are y'all told? And he said three armed people. I'm the only one. We're told right three, three armed males. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the only one armed, and I'm I'm out here in case you know we got some wild pigs or something. They roll up and. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are filming out here. He can tell you. I'm just, uh, I'm just giving him protection for the wild pigs. What are you guys filming out here? Whatever I can see, man. Whatever you can see. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, like I said, I mean, I, I'm not exactly sure what their policy is on all that, but uh, you know, that's what we gotta, we gotta. That's why we're out here. We understand. Any any problem with what we're doing? I don't I don't have a problem. It's not a problem, it's just you know just the, it, the problem is the only concern is the the alert that it causes to the passing bikes. Yeah. You know, where they're the, the I mean, alert, and, the alert they cause themselves. Right, because yeah. then because then you know they're blowing up 911. They're blowing up 911. I mean, their dispatchers going. I just got another call. I just got another call, and you know, and it's that like is, that is unfortunate. And know. then, and then they've been out here two, three times. How many times? Two, three. And they parked right here, and uh -huh. I mean, 
I don't know what they thought on him was a weapon, but really three armed people. Yeah, that's that's a chick, a chick with a camera. They pulled up here and watched all of us. A chick with a camera, a dude with a camera, and of course, you know, I'm on. So I can see them calling one armed person out there, but I don't think yeah. I'm on, man. No, they said three, so anyway, hopefully, they uh get educated on you know, yeah, you guys can call, but man, you need to tell us that there's a guy, there's two people out there filming, and there's a guy with a rifle strung on his chest, and he's walking around filming. Or holding up the cell phone at us when we're pulling up to him. So up the cell phone. Give y'all a little bit more accurate info. Right, right. right. That cop, man, you guys can wreck going fast. You know what I mean? You should if they say there's three armed people out here, but you know, he yeah. wasn't quite sure. You know, and and at first I was like, I, I you know, I, I was like, really? I, well, and at first I thought it maybe the perimeter guy, the one that runs the the rover around the. We haven't even seen him, man. Oh no. No. Oh okay. Well. Apparently the lieutenant was the one that was calling it out, uh, called it, and then they got 911 calls from passerby that, you know, hey, you know, there's there's people out there are armed and this Dude, and that. We had a truck and, driver come and stop, man, and, and uh, I was talking to him, he said, what are you guys doing? And I'm out here watching wild pigs, man, while he films. All right, man, go Texas! And, he, and I go, dude, get out of the road, bro. <laughs> he took off. <laughs> a couple of people were honking, you know, waving and stuff like that. Just for security, it's an off-duty uh, uh, police officer. Yeah, they just passed by twice. Uh, yeah, they, they take care of the Chesapeake uh, pumps and all that. Well, can we get all name right, and badge numbers from I'm you guys? Can we get name and badge numbers from you guys? Deputy Jimenez, 505. Thank you very much. Yes, Appreciate your professionalism, hey, man. Yes, Thank you, Deputy. It's hard for a lot of people to uh, deal with this. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it, it is. is. Yeah, no problem. All right, but you're Creole County, too? Yeah, no, so I'm, I'm uh, Dilly Police Department. Dilly Police. You have yeah. a badge number? Yes, uh, 2733. Thank you very much, man. You guys, you guys, we understand the response you gave us, but good job, guys. I mean, and, and like I said, I mean, that's that's the only thing. You know, I understand, you know, you're more than welcome to carry your weapons. You know, it, it's it's part of our, you know, it's part of our legal rights and all that. But the my only concern is the alert that's causing, like, the passerby, yeah. you know, and then our 911 is getting flooded with... Uh, with calls and on a Saturday, I so mean, we got EMS responding right now to someone that's non-responsive yeah. and stuff like that, and it's causing up. But now your dispatcher should be able to tell them, hey, we've already checked you yeah. guys out. Yeah, so. and just, yeah. Yeah, maybe uh, somebody can just tell me, you know, if that ever happens again, try to get more info. as much information as you can right, and give accurate information to our dispatcher so that way our yeah. police can Well, unfortunately, it happens on accidents and stuff like yeah. that. We what don't get, I mean, it, information it, it, is all chopped it, up. And, and if they're not giving pieces, that accurate, I mean, come on. They're yeah. officers. They know the who, what, when, where, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so you know, if they give you inaccurate information about us, you're hauling ass out here like that. But you guys like the On the flip side of that coin, if something actually more going on, the more info you have, the better you are. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe just educate one. Alrighty. Hey man, watch those guys and, and you know here's the laws on carrying weapons. And you know, if they're doing any of these things, let us know. But if they're not, just call them out of emergency line and say, hey man, can y'all check these guys out? <laughs> but, <laughs> right. well, if I you do I'll... talk to them, let them know we're open to talk, man. We're not we're friendly, we know about you. Yeah, I mean, I'll let our, I'll get a hold of our dispatch and... Yeah, we don't want to harm anything like that, man. You guys be careful, man. We're just out here filming. Do you know more or less how, long, how much longer you're going to be out here? We were actually getting ready to leave, but... <laughs> we got we got our footage, and I was like, hey, man, let's go, it's fucking hot. And he goes, and then boom, here comes the guy up here, and he stops and backs real fast all the way up. I guess he was getting off duty. You're like, oh, ah, shit. shit. What we don't like to do when we're getting our footage is if we if we think that the police are being called, we don't like to get a car and take off. That's yeah, that causes a, yes, a bigger yes, alert on there. Yeah. Yes. yes. So yes. We, we so waited. We, we waited for you guys to show up. We'll stay. That we, you know, the police will find out what we're doing, and then they're not okay. running around looking for us all over the city. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Good okay. job, guys. Thank all you right. very much. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, man. That was good. This is where. All you right, we're good. Sheriff and police. Hey, man. They're headed back your way. And Chesapeake security. <laughs> okay, what you say? Cops are headed back your way. They they got Jack in the back of the car. Okay. They got Jack in the back of the car. They took him. No, 
really did it. He's in that truck that's fixing to pass you. He's in that truck that's getting ready to pass you right now. And then, and then tell her he's in the bed. He's fucked up, man. He's in the bed of the truck. They threw him in the bed like a deer, like a dead deer. <laughs> I'm still live streaming, dude. <laughs> hey, guys. Sheepdog right here, man. He's not in the bed of the sheriff's truck. I'm not in the bed of the sheriff's truck. Do not call Frio County and tell him to take me out of the bed of the truck. <laughs> hey, guys, we're all good. SA Ecstasy Prez here. TX Sheepdog 72. It's that magic you crave. We're out here in Dilly, Texas. Shit, this shit What's shut up. Dilly, yo? Oh, oh, man. Well. I should have told them and let them know, man, if they got any escaped prisoners, well, we got our own bags, man. We'll bring them back to the police. <laughs> Only if it's violent offenders. Hey, sorry, guys. I lost the feed. Uh, give you guys time to uh, get back on. Bamboozer here. Uh, okay, so we're out here in Dilly, Texas. D-I-L-L-E-Y. D-I-L-L-Y. I'm not sure how to spell it. It's about an hour south of San Antonio, Texas. Hey, We're out here doing the uh, hey. Texas Department of Criminal Justice That's Prison. This is SA Ecstasy Prez. How's it going, Tim? Hey, how you doing, Tim? Yeah, I'm out when I'm, whenever I'm out on location, I mean, that's all I do is just watch y'all's videos. No shit, brother? Yeah. So, uh, time goes by, I mean. so Frio came out, man. Frio and uh, Dilly PD, they came out running Code 3. Uh, we, you know, you got these two guys and me, and they reported that there were three armed people at the gate. Dude, and she was way down here. So we just told them, look, man, they know the who, what, why, when, where. where. They were, they're officers. They need to get, more, get more accurate reports to the cops. <laughs> yeah, we're man, awesome. I saw y'all walking. I'm like, where they are? Awesome, man. <laughs> awesome, man. Appreciate yeah, got to head out. Thank you for the support, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Okay. We've been out auditing all day in San Antonio. We decided to come down here. They did good or they failed? They, they failed. They failed. They failed. Oh, they lied to the cops. The, sh the sheriff and the police did great. They lied to the cops, man. Uh, they lied to the cops and caused them to fucking do a hundred down here with their lights on. But they got out and they did everything good, man. No detaining. Didn't ask for ID? Nothing. Nothing, bro. They didn't ask for my license for the pistol? Nothing. Oh, they were really good, man. I guess they want to go. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right, careful. man. See you later. Thank you.